Hello and welcome to the Tech Bytes audio cast. My name's Tim and I'm from the Bytes blogger Z, and with me is Dr. Roy Shestowitz from the Tech Bytes website. It's Friday night and I'm gonna get sauce. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He tried to boss me and was out boss. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. Underneath this creeper bridge, hoping goats will cross. Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge, I fought the troll. Welcome to the 75th episode of Tech Bites. Today is Sunday, the 12th of August 2012. This is actually uh, the 75th episode, which means that it's kind of a special number. It's not yet 100. And we're approaching, I think within about a month and a half, we will have reached the um, two years uh, anniversary of the show. Uh, I think we began on the 1st of October 2010, although I'm not entirely sure if it was in November, uh, when myself and team were, you know, had this um, this idea of, of trying to join our two efforts, uh, two websites, uh, his expertise mostly in things like copyrights, which kind of relate to his knowledge of the law, which he knows quite professionally, and my knowledge of things like patents and especially the way they're being um, applicable or the way they're being applied uh, usually by force and usually aggressively against uh, Linux and open source, something which I've been covering in uh, tech rights since 2006 when I created the, uh, uh, together with Sean at the time, we were creating this uh, uh, Boycott Nouvelle. Uh, movement against what we used to back then uh, be seen as the first real attempt to tax Linux. Uh, at that stage, we're doing a collaboration with Novell, a collaboration between Novell and Microsoft. So of course, Microsoft is an integral part of it, and Boycott Novell was also in part about Microsoft as well, as part of the uh, conspiracy of two companies to try to tax Linux. Uh, here we are, six years later, and Linux is still suffering. Uh, from this taxation effort, especially Android is, you know, is the main um, force, uh, shall we say, except, except for the server side. It's the main force that's actually growing very fast now, with about a million activations per day of Android devices, may, you know, be them phones or tablets or whatever. So, um, I know Apple has joined the efforts as well. I was never a big fan of Apple, and, and some people thought, you know, might cheer for Apple because it's not Microsoft, but the real dichotomy here is, is just, you know, something to do with freedom and proprietary. It's not really a question of Microsoft and anti-Microsoft. It's just a question of who is the biggest enemy and who is the arch enemy of Linux when it comes to um, dominating the industry, and usually Microsoft was the big elephant in the room with the most market share and also the most disgusting tactics. Uh, and there is lots of evidence to to show, in fact, that they were doing so. And so this show is always somewhat hostile towards Microsoft, you might say, and I think for good reasons. In fact, uh, we had a focus on copyrights and patents, which we shall continue to do to a certain extent, and we do try to have the episodes increasingly focused on topics and not just be a big mishmash of, uh, uh, of shall we say, um, a variety of news items and maybe some, you know, news relating to the show. Uh, we'll try to, you know, dive straight into the, the beef uh, that we have to deal with. Uh, one of the things that I, I, I'd like to, to just say is, uh, I, d I don't really have this thing scripted right now, and I'm, I'm just trying to um, you know, push out a quick, you know, sort of uh, recording just to kind of explain a few points that I, I wanted to make uh, about the show, about the origins of the uh, uh, of the sites that myself and team are running, um, and also say a few words about the changes that happen in this podcast or audio cast, as we prefer to call it. Uh, one of which, and actually the main of which, is the fact that we're moving to Og Vorbis. Um, and that's after I kind of conducted a very quick survey among registered users of, the, of, of, of tech rights just to kind of see if, if most of them support the same suggestion made by Stallman and carry on as we did in a previous episode with just the Ogvorvis versions of the, of the show. And my main concern has always been the fact that um, 
not only devices but also many applications like you know soft uh, devices or soft applications not just the hardware that you know impossible very virtually impossible to change uh, they only play mp3 format and in some cases they play the Microsoft formats like WMA or WMV or so on and so forth so so um, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to alienate or drive away or discourage some of the people who were used to be listening to the show in their cars, as I know some people did. Um, but we'll, we'll try to do it in oak format, only it's easier for me to do it like that too. But uh, it actually started with the MP3 version as a, an integral part of the show due to demand, even though we, we found, in fact, I, I, I did some some grabbing on the log files and I'm finding that in most cases the uh, demand for the OG version is like five times more than the uh, than the one for the for both mp3 versions combined the low quality and the high quality mp3 version as we had used to have them uh, and it's gonna save us some you know server space as well if we have to do two different versions of of the of the show's recording in MP3 and AUG, it tends to take more server space, which is quite an expensive commodity, and then we need to you know to also get back backups for it, and and uh, that that that's not really the major logistical issues we've had, but we just do try to encourage people to use AUG Warbis, and I I always use it for my sound uh, files and just about everything on my computer. It's just AUG except for the cases where I already have it in MP3 and I just don't want to convert it to something else because it's going to result in a degre degradation of quality as people know and whenever you change between those formats the sampling changes so moving between you know moving all your MP3 files converting all of them to AUG format will result in degraded quality of sound so it's not exactly a reason to do so um, but for acquisition of new files or a creation of new files, which is what we are doing with this show, we might as well just go with Ogvorbis. And I also uh, make the WebM version that I put on YouTube now. So people should be able to get it with most browsers, even if they don't have a browser that supports SOG, and there are a few of those too. So they will be able to at least play it with, you know, Flash Player, which is not exactly open or with WebM, assuming the browser supports that, because Google is going to support both now, depending on the user preferences. And on my tablet, for example, when I access Google, I, I know it does use the uh, the Google uh, the uh, encoders. It uses, uh, uses VPA to WebM to, to get the uh, video streaming. So anyway, um, in 2006, then, we, we, uh, uh, we had the site uh, about Novel created, and that was many, many years, almost four years, even more than four years before we really were, you know, we, we really moved into audio form as well, and then we started to cover some of the main issues without preparation, just to, just so that, you know, more people will be able to listen listen to the show uh, in yet another form. Uh, and and the reason I want to just make this recording, and I'm, I'm still really improvising, I should, I should mention, and it's, it's more difficult when there is nobody to, you know, pass the kind of microphone or pass uh, uh, the... Um, you know, past authority to while you're thinking about the next sentences you want to make. Um, you know, well, I'm 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 still I'm still trying to to basically go through some of the main things that I otherwise would not have time to to go through. Uh, one of them is the fact that you know uh, um, we we do have a collection of basically uh, massive. Uh, news and uh, we, which we have to comment on. So occasionally we have these things like the uh, um, a new patent deal being signed or some kind of a lawsuit being filed, and we have to cover it on the show. So in the past we'd have like these uh, episodes dedicated to to a certain event, which you know merited a special response from both of us. Uh, we've not had this for a while, and we also didn't have those shows with the news section and the. Uh, discussion about news and more recently I had some guests we had Richard Stallman who was talking to us about various topics uh, as he promised before because he wanted to be on the show uh, and we made the front page of Slashdot which brought us quite a few uh, new listeners people who were interested in his opinions and became aware of the existence of this show and, and that's quite an important thing I, I don't really know what impression they get about the show the show since then, because they haven't heard Tim recently, he's uh, hopefully going to be 
back very soon. He will be back uh, at some stage as soon as he's got time. He's got two children and a and his job is very demanding right now. Uh, and, and I too have been pretty busy myself because I'm getting married.